Here I am at the Owens Valley Radio Observatory again. This is just gonna be a short little video. We're gonna talk about the uh, total collapse and structural failure of the Arecibo Telescope in Puerto Rico. It was America's largest telescope. It had been in operation all, as long as I have been alive. 57 years, if you can believe that. And I cannot believe it. We're not gonna discuss it. We're just not. The telescope itself was like a thousand feet wide. You know, it is built in this natural sinkhole. It's been in a bunch of movies. It's been uh, in the James Bond movie Goldeneye. Of course, Sean Bean dies on top of it, like he dies in everything. It is also, if you ever watched uh, Jodie Foster and Carl Sagan's uh, Contact, Matthew McConaughey is famous for calling it El Radar. It was our biggest telescope. Died of neglect. I mean, it's not like we people weren't raising alarm bells and people didn't know about its uh, structural failures that was coming up. It's just we couldn't get funding. There wasn't enough attention paid to it to get the thing repaired and keep it in repair. The American Congress didn't care. Of all the money that would go through the uh, Congress's hands, there wasn't an, there wasn't a flimsy amount to help rebuild Arecibo. And I'm not sure should we have even expected anybody in Congress to have cared about that. And keep in mind, in the halls of uh, the United States Congress, the term college graduate is used as a slur. We've really lost our way. And rebuilding Arecibo would be an infinitesimally small amount of money, but let's say you wanted to completely rebuild it, make it better, make it bigger, make it, you know, make it even more powerful than it was, probably the paint job on an F-35 fighter jet would have paid for Arecibo. I mean, that's almost a $400 million airplane when you include all the research that goes into it. And we couldn't find pennies for Arecibo over 57 years. It's not like we didn't see it coming. With all the trillions that the American government spends on a lot of stupid stuff, you know, when it comes to science and technology, those programs just fall by the wayside. Americans used to be able to do anything. Oh yeah, we went to the moon? Well, Mars is next. Mars wasn't next. Richard Nixon canceled the Apollo program. We still had spaceships built, ready to go to the moon. But they got canceled. The Saturn Nova, Saturn VI, scrapped. Probably the design plans are laying in someone's attic somewhere around Titusville to this day. But I want to put a, a special plea out to all of you guys that's watching to hashtag uh, rebuild Arecibo. We need to do it. We, we, it was a unique facility. It made unique discoveries. It was, it was America's biggest uh, instrument in terms of radio astronomy and the important work that radio astronomy does for humans every single day. So hashtag rebuild Arecibo. Write your congressman, write your senator, write them annoying messages, but stay on them. This is our Congress, it's not the corporation's Congress. This is our Congress, and science has to be represented again in the halls of the United States Congress. We have to stop using the term college graduate as a slur. We have to start thinking of it as a source of pride. And if we can't keep our own scientific instruments working, what does it say about us as a nation? Rescue, rebuild, and start listening again at Arecibo. Hashtag rebuild Arecibo. Remember it. Tell your mom about it. Pester your dad. And that's it here from Owens Valley Radio Observatory. If you like this uh, video, please.
to give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those in the comments below. And uh, check out my Patreons. Uh, links down below also. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye. This is the largest radio radar telescope on the planet Earth, the Arecibo Observatory. It's located in a remote valley on the island of Puerto Rico. It sends and receives radio signals, but it's so large and powerful that it could communicate with an identical radio telescope 15,000 light years away, halfway to the center of the Milky Way galaxy.